Hey there, welcome back to Magic Stringworks. So we're going to be cracking on with this uh, octave mandolin guitar build. A mando guitar? I kind of like the sound of that. <laughs> so I've got string spacing going on here up at the nut and I need to drill some more holes uh, for the bridge pins. So I've got the drill ready. So let's drill some holes. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Start off backwards. That's good. Now we have to chamfer these holes because our bridge pins won't fit in. And I'll sneak up on these and then fine tune them as I go, but you don't want to uh, go too far. So you can't go back without filling the hole again and redrilling it. <laughs> Which I don't feel like doing. Yeah, so I just want to get it so the ball of the bridge pin sits pretty much flush with the bridge. Yeah, it's getting there. All right. Pretty good. I think I'll leave that one there again. I can, well, maybe one or a half turn there. I can fine tune it. Good. All right. Let me do the other four holes. So, the way I'm marking these, I mean, it's not very scientific. I'm taking the string, putting it in the nut slot, and just sort of eyeballing where I think it should go. Of course, you can't see with my hand there, so let me change that. All right, so that should be a better angle. <laughs> so what I'm doing to locate the bridge pin holes, not very scientific, but I'm just sort of eyeballing the spacing where I think the next string should go. And then I'll move it in the nut slot and move it over. And sort of maintaining, if I look, I can see I've maintained the same space. So it's going to be close. And I've made pencil marks where I need to drill. So yeah, let's give it a try. And this is a more of a proof of concept. Can you actually do this? <laughs> I guess is the point. And at least for me, I've never done this. I'm sure some other people have. And don't forget I'm staggering the uh, bridge pins here, right? So these two are going to go this way, one, two, and then these two are going to go this way. So it's actually going to create a nice little V, I think. That'll look pretty good. Trying to keep it as uh, the drill bit as perpendicular as possible, straight. Oh, that wandered. Eh? I need a bigger ball mark. Don't be afraid to wiggle it around a little bit. Give yourself a little more room for that drill bit to catch. I'll get all those bits out of the sound hole. Don't worry. Just gonna chamfer these holes by hand. Get rid of 
get some of the chip out the furry bits. of the hole. Do that again. Alright, so I've got all the bridge pins in. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> a little W or V. Um, yeah. So I think uh, you know, I'm just going to get all these strings on. Of course I had to manufacture the ball end, right? <laughs> Put these on these wire loop end octave mandolin strings, but that, that was easy enough. So I'm going to string these up. Oop, is that getting through there? This one doesn't want to get through there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, well, I'm all done with holes and stringing up the guitar, and i got to say I'm uh, pretty pleased <laughs> with how this looks. Um, you know, go up the guitar here, and nothing's set up properly here, it's just sort of in place. So the nut, all the spacing looks good, looks even. And you know, put the headstock, nothing's rubbing, you know, no strings are rubbing on anything, so that's good. I'm uh, happy, you know, so far. I'm not 100% convinced on the string spacing, like maybe it needs to be a little narrower. But that's easy enough to fix on the nut. So, but you know, I'll get this playing and then you know, be able to see. Let me tune it up for a second, see if it'll hold to. Okay, all strung up and tuned up for the first time, so I don't really expect it to hold tune <laughs> till we've stretched the strings and I haven't done any setup. video here for now so a couple of things I have to do is I got to pretty up this saddle so I've got to ease the back edge it's sharp now I'm not sure I'm gonna put any notches in it for the strings until I'm convinced I like the string spacing and over here at the nut of course I've got to pretty this up shape it round over the edge the back edge I want to round over a little bit as well and then obviously get the nut action, the first fret action, consistent and feeling good. But, you know, just basically looking at this, the action isn't too bad. Uh, certainly up here. So I think, you know, need a little more neck relief. Sorry, straighten the neck out a little bit. That'll help. There's a lot of tension on here now. And I'm not sure how strong this little guitar was in the first place. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I probably have one or maybe two more videos on this build, so it's been fun. See you in the next one. <laughs>